Hello and welcome back to another VOD review. I was playing a game on uh, whatever this map's called. Hollywood? Yeah. So I was playing Anna and uh, one of my teammates wanted to play Anna. And obviously my teammate was way better. So I really wanted to find out why, you know, he or she was better. So I watched the gameplay, watched it a couple times, but just want to go over a couple things that was pretty cool. Obviously, his aim's really good. His aim's way better than mine. His positioning is interesting right here. He's only getting getting away with it because of his mechanics. If it was me doing it, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do it. So, but but he's actually really smart. You know, he he holds his nade for uh, for better situations to get an anti. He doesn't really use it for healing. I do that for sometimes. You see me as a Lucio. But yeah, he goes. He, he tries to go put pressure on the DPS. You know, like he got the he got the Mora. It's huge. And there's me. There's a Genji. You, you know, he starts shooting a Genji. You know, no fear. This is pretty awesome. Yeah. So I guess in general, you know, he's pretty aggressive with all of his abilities. You know what I'm saying? Like he's look. He got the Hanzo. And he's he's gonna go. He's gonna go for Anna. And eventually he gets caught out. I should have been able to speed boost him. That was probably my bad. I should have been, you know, identifying that situation. So, so let's skip ahead. So I noticed that he took the high ground, which is something I usually do, but I tend to for forget on uh, Hollywood. So. So obviously, look at that sight line. You can you can heal, you can get naded if someone's going after you, then you have enough time to react, which is awesome. Look at that. Perfect. So this is something I realized. I was playing Lucio and I had speed boost. So and also I had a beat. So I didn't realize how big that beat was. You know, our Anna and our Ryan were really, really low and we were able to sustain, which is pretty cool I didn't realize that that's why I go over gameplay I mean you learn you learn stuff you know they I mean the game's going on and you, you don't pick up everything so but yeah he's he's in a safe spot right now this is he's playing pretty good he's just healing I mean he had like he had a ton of healing that game and I'm like How the heck did he heal all that you know well and that was my fault too I didn't have speed uh, for for Anna I think I had heals up, which is unfortunate, because I should have had speed, I should have been on with her Anna, so he can avoid the Amelia strike. So, that one's on me. Yeah, we're regrouping here, but you'll see later, this Anna player, I mean, he's fearless. I mean, you go for some crazy plays, you know what I'm saying? Very impactful plays, too. You know, very aggressive, going for, I mean, not necessarily picks, but like, at least putting a lot of pressure on them and they're saying that like people say like oh it's a dps jobs or a tanks job to pressure people but i mean supports can do it too just as well you know anna's one of the best at it you know with nade just, this, this this part i remember because she he, he um tried to go for this flank and we called them just to like die on point but i don't i don't, I don't know what waffles trying to think here just trying to make a play i guess and get out but it kind of fed Uh, so our Anna has pretty good positioning right here, has a nice long sight line, and uh, they switched to a Doomfist, which you'll see later that this Doomfist picks, picks our, our waffle friend a couple of times, and I wasn't really paying attention. You know, it's Lucio, one of Lucio's main job is to speed around the Rhine, you know, but also to protect Anna. You know, you're one of the best healers in the game but yeah that's uh i mean Ant the anna overextended but i do that too I do it all the time actually so one thing about doomfist is you have to like if you're a squishy uh character like zen or or anna it's always best to be on high ground because 
then Doomfist has to use two abilities to get you. Whereas, if you're on the low ground, then he only has to use one ability and then use two abilities to finish you off or, or escape. So, that's one of the things I've learned going against Doomfist. And he's always locked into his animation. So, whenever he seismic slams, he's locked in an animation. And you can get a, you can get a sleep, you can nade yourself. So yeah, it's always best to catch him in his animation. Because if he like punches in and then uppercuts you and you don't know where he's at, it's pretty scary as an anime player. Yeah, it's just, it's just unlucky right there. One thing I notice and I learned is for the Meteor Strike, if you're Anna, if you run in a straight line and the Meteor Strike is in front of you, you can pivot and go backwards and avoid it. Also, for Meteor Strike, it's, it's in uh, AoE damage. So if you hide behind a pillar, and you can you can you can block the whole damage. Also, shields can block it. Bubble uh, bubbles, all that stuff. You can see your Anna player plays pretty good right here, sitting in the back line healing. The next round, you'll see the Anna player make some plays, which is pretty cool to see a support player you know, go make some plays. So start the attack. Uh, Waffles plays uber aggressive, trying to get an aggressive nade. Yeah, look at this awareness. The Zarya used her bubble and uh, Waffles naded them. It's huge. Stuff like that wins game fights. Being, being, being able to read animations and cooldowns and getting picks. Anna's is the best at that denying healing. Yeah, Waffles right here goes full aggression, taking out the Zarya and then the Anna, just putting a lot of pressure on them. That's a huge nade right there. That is a humongous nade. That probably won the fight right there. Good sleep on the brig. I think Waffles went a little bit too aggro right here. It's kind of hurt us. So we did not win that team fight. Uh, but you can see Waffles' mechanics is so good. I mean, look at that sleep guard. It's insane. Hitting that tracer too, forcing a recall. It's huge. Forcing them off high ground. Just being an Ana player. That's insane. It's saying how much value you can get. You know, being able to get a good nade, get sleep. That's like an instant pick right there. So we take this indoor fight right here. The Reaper alts and bump boop them away. So I like how Waffles is playing with the Ryan right here, brawling with them. You know, and then taking the high ground and just denying as many damage angles as possible and then eventually going after Santa. Yeah, his mechanics are really good but he just doesn't respect the other team. He's probably in a higher ranking usually but I mean, his positioning is just pretty bad. I mean, he dies a lot. I don't know how many deaths he has but a lot of them is unnecessary. So right here we took the point this is something we do, and this is what lower ranks don't do, is once you take the point, you keep the pressure on them. You know, they're already down a couple. So you keep the pressure on them, you get more picks, and you stagger them. I mean, the more staggers, the win. I mean, we, we took out the Rhine, which is humongous. I mean, just look how much space we're gaining right here. You know, Overwatch is not about getting, getting picks. It's about space and time right here. It's, it's huge. I mean, he's contributing to fight every single every single pick. He, he, you know, Waffles had some kind of contribution in, in there. I feel like I I need to do more, Zana. You know, like the Nate and the Rhyme. It's huge. I mean, you've shattered us, but I mean, still, it could it could have led to. I mean, they used three alts right there. That's crazy. Yeah, so I call for a speed boost right here. Yeah, we just, we just pretty much pop our ults and win. 
It was a good learning experience. So that pretty much finishes up. I mean, we win the map. I mean, if you like some, if, if you like content like this, you know, let me know in the comments. I'll make more. You know, if you don't, I'll, I'll probably make something else. So take care of yourselves and happy gaming. Bye bye.